a lot of great things happen in the mountain right. in the Bible. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, Israel received the law on the mountain. Mm -hmm. uh, Isaac uh, said, on the mountain of the Lord, we provided when God came through for him. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, of course, uh, a lot of you uh, have come here this week because you've heard about Haiti. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously it's been on your heart, that's why you've made the sacrifice and you spend the money to come here and to give your heart. So uh, we really appreciate that. Uh, but uh, of course, you know, like Mark and uh, um, Dave. Dave have said. My best friend, one of the reasons that we're here is uh, is to uh, is to care for the orphans, which is a very biblical thing to do. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to spend some time praying for that. But at the same time, I think we need to also keep in our hearts all our brothers and sisters we have here. Yes. Oh, yeah. uh, that have been toughing it out over the last right. couple of years. Yes. Yeah. And uh, continues to be an inspiration to all of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's pray for them too. Amen. You know, one of the things I noticed on the Haiti flag, you know, when we were over building the road, with the, one of the disciples was sort of blown away by how much progress we were making and how well we were working together. And you know, right on the Haitian flag, right here, it says, L'union fait la force. Mm -hmm. Unity is strength. Mm -hmm. That's right. This is unity. Mm -hmm. And That's we right. are united with all our brothers and sisters here in Haiti, in America, and all over the world. I mean, it's mm -hmm. a phenomenal concept, and we can see it in action this week. My name is Emmanuel Miller, and I'm here in Haiti, uh, just filled with the Spirit. The Lord has really moved powerfully in this time that we've had to spend with the children at the orphanage at CAD. Uh, we had the opportunity to teach classes, and some of these kids are brilliant. They just need people that are excited and, and filled with God's power to tap into their minds and, and open up their hearts. Uh, these kids have dealt with a lot of trauma and, and hardship and, you know, a lack of family. So it's been a blessing to be able to be used to embrace them and to love them as God would love them. Amen. The most impactful thing for me here was just really understanding what it means to die to yourself. Um, every day these kids are, they, they have to get up every morning. They, they don't even have dressers to put their clothes in. They don't, they don't have anywhere to put their toothbrush, you know. But they get up every day and they come out, they have their breakfast and they, they go to their classes and they learn, um, and I was amazed at how smart these kids are. We had the classroom that was, um, they were, uh, they weren't, edu they were, they were not, they were the lowest level educated. 
um, when they got to Gantier. And so um, and it was, I was amazed at how high they could count in English. They, they know English already, some of them. Not broken, but just a little bit. Um, so it was just impactful to see how, how they live their, their life and how I live my life. And it's absurd how much I have to So I've been, I've been um, in a quadruple team, and what we've been doing, we've been living with disciples. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm heartbroken because they gave up their house for us so that we can sleep, um, sometimes in challenging conditions, just like in the Book of Acts. And uh, we uh, prayed together, we ate together, we were just, just for them to share their experiences about what happened in the earthquake as well. So it was an honor to be um, to work and live with disciples as well from all over the US and uh, Canada and also the UK. Um, it's great because I think every sort of marriage should be coming out here. I mean, uh, even, even it, it could even be a family vacation to bring your children here just to see that they don't, you, shouldn't, you know, in our society, children want one want all the time. But these children, I mean, I was, one of the kids couldn't go to school because his shoes were dirty. Another children couldn't go to school because they didn't have the money to buy a pair of shoes. Mm. You know, and that was um, really challenging. But just to see that the people got nothing, but they are very, very grateful. Mm. And they're so willing to give, despite their poverty, they are so willing to sacrifice and to give. And most of all, Jesus is number one in their life. Mm. They're not compromising, they're close to God, they're happy, they're praising, even when they're sharing their um, experiences about the earthquake, they are still close to God more than ever. And there's a sense of love. You know, that's what I'm gonna take away, take back to the UK. There's a sense of love. There's no gospel about this person. They're all there to encourage, and most of all, they're living a life like Jesus, which is so inspiring. The families reflected happiness to us. They were always happy to help. Happy just to share a little chit chat under the skylight, the night sky. And even more so, happy to sing. You know, some nice songs, your friend is my friend, my friend is your friend. I'm Okay, love you guys. <laughs>